Welcome back to Talk About LA. I'm Steve Napolitano with Brad Jacobson behind the camera. And today we're at beautiful Trump International Golf Course in Rancho Palos Verdes. And behind me is the Concorde Elegance, which means competition of elegance. And to you and me, it means car show. So we're gonna go down, check out the cars, talk to the people and see what's going on. I think it's great. The cars are always fun to check out. Um, good people, everyone's having fun. Good wine. Good wine good from my like door. Good weather. weather. It's beautiful. <laughs> A 1958 Buick uh, uh, Limited. It's a rare car. They made about 7,000 of them. It's fun. It's uh, the camaraderie, uh, just to share the the uh, cars with people. And it's uh, I try to focus on cars that are finished and mm -hmm. stay away from the project. This has been going on for about 14 years now. It started at the uh, Palos Verdes High School and was at the Rolling Hills Country Club for a while. And we've been at Trump for the last five years. It's it's a great venue. We've got about 190 cars this year. We've had as many as 240 here, but it gets a little crowded. We have Edelbrock and uh, Edelbrock Racing. Equipment, and they brought a display of a small block Chevy engine that they dismantled. I saw they, that, yeah. It's basically for the kids. Mm -hmm. The kids are able to, to work with them on putting it back together. Actually, Playboy Motor Car Company was started by three guys after World War II who said, we're going to build America's first economy car. And they built 97 cars, could not raise money in a stock offering, and went out of business. And it would not be a Concorde Elegance without a Rolls Royce. Definitely so. It's a 1963 and a half Rolls Royce Silver Cloud 3. How many car shows do you enter a year? Not that many, maybe four or five. And that's, so that's, about, is, that's about it. This is the pinnacle. This is the pinnacle. A friend of mine asked me to show the car at, at Leisure World. And I had a good time, including three proposals. <laughs> it's good to own a Rolls Royce. That's right. <laughs> and come and just enjoy a beautiful day out in the peninsula, have some uh, automobile appreciation, yep. see some great folks around town like yourself. We drive this car. Okay. Yeah, they, they cars like this were made to be driven. And so we'll get dinged because there's a gravel scratch or something on the front. But uh, yeah, it's called the McFarland. And uh, they're fairly rare. But there's a story behind it. You've got the this? license plate there saying Fatty, and I know it's from the Guys. chair over there, it's Fatty Arbuckle. It is Fatty Arbuckle. It was Fatty Arbuckle's car. Mm -hmm. And uh, he would take it out on his movie shoots, and there's an awning that comes out from behind the car, and the trunk was full of boots. <laughs> nice. And for those who don't know, though, Fatty Arbuckle was the biggest silent star, comedy. silent movie star at comedy at the time. Yes. And uh, But career ended in scandal. Oh, very much and so. And so this is before that scandal hit, though. Well, about, about the same time. About the same time. <laughs> 